All right, so we are back, and today's video is kind of summed up in a couple of words, and they are odd and intriguing. Now, you can describe my entire channel as that because of, well, stuff like this. One second, can we just appreciate how fucking thick my man Tyron Woodley is? I don't even care what y'all think. That man's thick. Damn, he thick! But that's not what we're covering in today's video. In fact, it's a familiar name. The man that is the co-founder of Prime. Floyd didn't pay him, so he's probably sour like a lime. It's Logan Paul, yes. One half of the balding, bouncing bros has apparently accepted, verbally, his next fight in the boxing ring, and it's probably not against anyone you could have ever imagined. His name is Winderson Nunez. Window son. Winder son. It sounds like my dad telling me to close Close the window. Wait, you got the damn window open and it's 90 degrees outside. Close the damn window, son. The hell's wrong with you? <laughs> but let's get into this thing. Winderson Nunez, Logan Paul. Is this fight even possible? What, what's happening here? Breakdown. Let's go. All right, so when I said the name Winderson Nunez, how many of you guys looked at the camera like Dwayne The Rock Johnson and had the question in your head, who the f is that? You wouldn't be alone because I said the same thing when I heard this on Twitter the other day. But here's the thing, what I know, or in this case, what I didn't know, doesn't mean sh because this guy is a massive YouTuber. We're talking about a guy that has a bigger following than Logan Paul, bigger following than Jake Paul, a bigger following than both of them combined. And not only that, but Winderson actually boxes as recently as a week ago, and that's why we're talking about it today. He boxed in an exhibition fight, again, kind of a mirror match to what Logan did with Floyd Mayweather, although Winderson probably got paid, but it was a similar capacity. He had an exhibition fight with probably one of the best boxers in Brazilian boxing history, which to be fair, Brazil not really known for its boxing. Well, not as much as maybe it's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it's Capoeira, it's soccer, AKA football, it's Muay Thai, it's tradition, it's culture, it's thick with two C's women. But the man that Winderson Nunes just fought is basically Brazil's Floyd Mayweather. His name is Ocelino Freitas or Popo Freitas. He is a former WBO, WBA multi-division world champion. And while Winderson went in there, got put on skates early, I'm talking Bambi on ice, he did actually survive the fight and afterward did call out Logan Paul on the mic. There was then a Twitter back and forth, mostly in Portuguese. Thank God for Google Translate because I do not speak the language. Logan did say, I accept your offer. Let's fight. Keep up your training. So does this fight make sense? Let's talk about it. So the first things that I think of when I look at this boxing match, I said it in the intro, it's odd and it's intriguing because Logan and Winderson, if you think about it, are somewhat mirrors of each other. Logan, a US based YouTube entertainer who does comedy, who does music and now boxes. Winderson, a YouTube comedy and music entertainer that now also does boxing. They're 26 and 27 respectively, kind of in the prime, no pun intended for Logan's drink that is pretty damn good, I'll give him that. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is this fight may make more sense than you think, and most importantly, and I don't even know if Logan's thinking about this, but just as a person in the YouTube boxing scene, this could take the scene Global, global, global. You think about it, YouTube boxing has been mainly condensed to the US and the UK, two English speaking countries. But when we go outside of that spectrum and we go into Spanish speaking countries, Portuguese speaking countries, other parts of Europe, Asia, South America, Mexico, this could be huge because not only would you bring more fans into the scene that consistently continues to grow year over year with more fighters, more names, more events, show stars, social gloves, happy Punch, everyone now being involved just in the US and UK side. Imagine then the YouTubers from across the globe get the itch to do this because you don't have to be a particularly great boxer or a particularly great athlete, at least at the beginning of your journey. And your fans, your loyal, dedicated fans will still support something like this if and only if it's built properly. And this Winderson Nunez guy can actually fucking box. He does have some semblance of, of defensive responsibility, even if he's getting tagged by a former world champion. That's not going to be the level that Logan brings him, right? Although I would probably lean toward Logan because how seriously and how long he has taken that boxing journey, even with the time off now, it's gonna be a little more experienced than I think Winderson has. But it's an interesting concept, not quite as interesting as the one behind me, because let's be honest, when we are debating everything, nothing else tops it. But this would be something intriguing to take a look at and to keep an eye on, because if we know anything about Logan Paul, that he wants to do odd and interesting things, things you really wouldn't expect for him to be able to do, 
and taking you to boxing global would check that box especially when he's already fought a legend one of the best if not the best boxers ever that situation is not going to come around again even though floyd asked him luckily logan learned his lesson the first time fool me once shame on you scammer fool me twice you might as well open more gi joe pokemon boxes like you're a fucking idiot the next best thing to that would be pioneering a worldwide phenomenon which would be YouTube boxing on a global scale. A bigger question that probably no one's asking, how serious can you take Twitter interactions? This is the same platform that has more users without a profile name, profile picture, and no other words on their profile but L plus ratio. So I don't know exactly how serious we should take any of this bullshit, but having other countries that haven't been included at the highest level yet be included, having massive promotions pop up and all different types of talent signing on to be a part of it, maybe even a YouTube boxing championship. Also, there would have to be some sort of weight class because I think Winderson Nunez walks around at 78 kg. That's like 170 pounds. Logan's obviously around 200 to 190. It's a pretty big gap in size and someone's going to have to cut weight or Winderson is going to have to eat a lot of steak, potatoes, and Brazilian girl booty to... <laughs> I, I just couldn't have, I couldn't help it. I just could not help it. But you guys let me know down below, man. Would you guys actually watch a fight like this? Logan Paul, one of the biggest YouTube celebrities in the United States. Winderson Nunez, a channel double his size. YouTube boxing on a global scale outside of the US and UK. It would be a spectacle. It would be an event that millions would probably tune in to see depending on how both of them sell together. And maybe it would mark the beginning of a global YouTube boxing scene. So I don't have those answers or if this thing even ever happens, but like I said, it's odd and it's intriguing. Will this thing happen? Who wins? And most importantly, in my opinion, did YouTube boxing just stumble upon something that could become way bigger than we ever imagined? I guess we'll find out.